What's up, y'all? Your boy Dread is back, and today's topic is the top five male harems. Well, what are those? Well, those are typically the guys that are in a female's rotation of men. And before I get this video cracking, I want to say this. Is there anything wrong with a woman having a rotation of men or talking to multiple men at once? No. Just as long as one, she's actually single, and two, if she actually let them know what they're being used for. Like, hey, I'm just talking to you just to get over my ex, or hey, I'm just using you for this, I'm using you for X, Y, and Z, or you're just here to come for me. There's nothing wrong with it, it's just as long as she doesn't lead those guys on. But anyway, let's get into it. Guy number one, if she doesn't have a car of her own, any reliable transportation, or if her car is in the shop, you are the guy who she calls to give her rides. You're basically her own personal cab driver slash Uber driver. She only calls you when she needs a ride somewhere. Can you give me a ride to work? Can you give me a ride to my appointment? Can you give me a ride to my morning classes? Can you give me a ride home from the club? Me and my girlfriend are too drunk to drive. Guy number two is her work husband slash boy best friend. This is the guy who you see always orbiting around her, whether it be in a professional or a personal setting. It's the guy who butters her up with compliments, buys her dinner, buys her snacks, buys her drinks, buys her gifts every now and then. Basically, he does all the boyfriend stuff, but don't get none of the boyfriend privileges. You're the boyfriend without actually getting the cookie. And speaking of a work husband, why do you think he always mean mugs her actual boyfriend when he comes around? Guy number three, you're the guy who she calls to fix stuff. If she can't fix it herself, or if she doesn't want to pay a professional repairman, she'll call you. You're basically her own personal repairman. Can you see this wrong with my sink? Can you see this wrong with my laptop? Can you see this wrong with my car? Can you see this wrong with my microwave? Basically, you're pulling overtime for a shit that you're not even working. Guy number four, and I'm pretty sure that most of y'all knew this one was coming, but guy number four is basically her own little personal therapist. You're the guy who she calls to vent to and talk to about her problems. So, Brad is being an a-hole today. I hung up on him and almost blocked him on Facebook. Huh, I almost got into it with my homegirl Chandra over this dude we're talking to. Huh, I almost got fired at work today. My boss is being an a-hole. Basically, you're the guy who is her personal therapist. Guy number five, that's the guy who she calls to handle business and when i say handle business i ain't talking about balancing her checkbook or doing her taxes y'all know what i mean that's the guy who knows how to put it down under the right way and guy number five is basically who guys one through four want to be but either she's not attractive to them or she put those guys in that zone for a certain reason but yeah guy number five is the one who knows how to put it down and there's quite a few bonus ones that I left out too, like the guy who she calls to fight or beat somebody up, and her weed man if she smokes, or the plug, or if she has, you know, a sugar daddy or something like that. But those are just the main five. And like I said, there's nothing wrong with women talking to multiple men. It's just that she needs to let those guys know where they stand. But if I left any out, y'all let me know.